Lakeside, centre stage for so many of Dart's golden moments. But as this old arena celebrates 30 years, it's all about silver. When Eric Bristow won the first World Championship held here at Lakeside in 1986, this lady was still at number 10. And at number one, the Pet Shop Boys with West End Girls. That's how long ago it was. The Crafty Cockney's victory was his fifth, a record that still remains to this day. In 30 years, we've had 21 different champions crowned here. We've seen the master overpowered by his apprentice. It's there! the champion in the 80s. Bill Taylor there, the champion in the 90s. And the count down on his knees after the perfect checkout. There's one. There's two of the bullseye for the title. Yes! What a shot! The one of but for sheer drama, could it get any better than the final between Phil Taylor and Mike Gregory in 1992? I don't think so. One to go. He's missed! He had it! It was his! Standing, cheering, Gregory had the chance, but there you have it, look at him out there. There is the champion, Phil Taylor. For a comeback, you can always count on Bobby, as he played through the pain barrier of a broken back in 1994. Silence. Yes! The final proved one step too far, though, as Canada's John Park opened the doors to the overseas champions. He's there! He's there! Look at him! He's crying! Barney's win in 98 signalled the beginning of the Dutch invasion. Some great women players have also graced this legendary stage, but it's the record of one woman that stands alone. Game. Trina Gulliver's ninth title in 2011 is a truly incredible achievement in a venue that's witnessed so many down the years. There's no greater feeling than the emotion of lifting the trophy for the first time. They say the first is the toughest to win, as Martin Adams found out in 2007 in a Lakeside Classic against Phil Nixon at the 14th time of Arsenal. Will Wolfie hunt down a fourth world title, or will we have our 22nd champion at the home of World Dance, the Lakeside? Well, Bobby, we know who the most handsome player is who's ever uh -huh. played at the Lakeside, but what's your favourite memory over the 30 years that the BDO has had its World Championship here? Obviously, me getting to the final, you know. <laughs> it's the best one I can remember. It, it probably goes to show just how much it means. We saw our most recent champion there in tears, Stephen Bunting. You were willing to risk your permanent health with a broken back and go up there and play. Yeah, but that's why it went That's one of the things that is. Nothing against party. I mean, he played well, he beat me out in the final, but I couldn't do much about it. I just went for the motions. Yeah. But the semi-final was probably my 
our best one against Magnus Karras when I was 4-2 down and I came back on every leg and yeah. that was gladly feeding. You went on to win the New Zealand World, of course, but in terms of lakeside champions, who, who for you is the, the, the greatest year for you, the, the one champion that you take your hat off to? I thought um, Kiss, Lipstick. because really? Yeah, because he come, no one knew him, didn't say nothing, couldn't talk English much, didn't say much. He went out there and just, just murdered everyone. Yeah, I suppose Amazing. that... It's a really left field choice for you to make, but I suppose it has changed so much over the years. This tournament and and what it means and the players who come through. And we we've seen it this year with the prelims and players getting to the semi final. It's a in many ways it's it's from the academy through the the pubs and through the clubs into here. So it, it is wonderful when you see the likes of Jeff Smith this year, Glenn Durant back for only his second year, just being able to learn and being able to to do their apprenticeship almost. Well, years ago, there was like the elite only played in this. They didn't have so many countries. If you did get an overseas player years ago, you got to buy those to say. Yeah. But today, that's not like that. The world of darts is not just Brit British shows, it's the world now. Okay. And there's so many good players coming through from different countries. Well, all those memories, but one more to be made today. And we did say we felt this one was going to go all the way. Well, it's three all as it stands in a race to seven sets. Let's get back to the action and Richard Ashdown.